Welcome back, everyone. Sorry about that interruption there. I just had to pick up the mail here. Colorado State and Louisville. I will take Colorado State and I'll take Louisville. That was that was my pick. So then, so then for a spot in the Elite Eight, I gotta obviously take Alabama and Purdue. A lot could change in the tournament, but that's what I think is gonna make the most make the most out of the Elite Eight. So I gotta take Purdue to represent the Big Ten in the Final Four this year. Iowa State and Vermont in the Milwaukee in the Milwaukee region. Next, I gotta take Iowa State. Arkansas and Loyola Chicago. I'll take Loyola Chicago in that 8-9 matchup. Providence and Belmont. I will take Providence. For for Tennessee versus Oakland. I have to take Oakland. Tennessee has a Tennessee has a great history, is getting, getting upset a lot in the tournament. So I'm gonna take Oakland here to win. Illinois and Wyoming, I will take Illinois. Xavier and South Alabama, I will take Xavier. West Virginia and Florida, I will take I will take Florida. Gonzaga and Towson, I will I have to take Gonzaga here. So then let's go up again. So we gotta take I gotta take Iowa State to move on to the Sweet 16. Loyola Chicago is not gonna get by this time. They beat Illinois last year in the third round, so I gotta take I got to take Iowa State to move on to the Sweet 16. That would be cool as one of my favorite teams outside of Michigan to watch. They have, they are very fun to watch for sure. Providence, Providence and Oakland, I will take I will take Providence. Oakland Cinderella run will end. Providence is going to be too tough and they're going to make the Sweet 16 here. In a very rare matchup of Iowa State and 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 Providence. And then next we'll have a matchup of Illinois, Illinois and Xavier. I will take Xavier to make the Sweet 16. And then and then Gonzaga will make it over Florida and make the Sweet 16, even though Florida's made it as a double digit seed in the final four this, before. Not gonna happen this year. So that brings up a matchup of that brings up a matchup of Xavier and Gonzaga. I gotta take Gonzaga to move on to their second Elite Eight in two years against Iowa State. For a spot in the final four, I gotta take Illinois, I gotta take Iowa State to make the final four. That would be very cool. That would be awesome if they made it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have that happening. So they're gonna make the final four. So let's so who on who plays in the final four? Let's you know, very good matchup between between Baylor and Iowa State. I gotta take I gotta take Baylor to repeat their I gotta take Vill I gotta take Villanova to repeat their tournament, their championship appearance for the first time since 2018. And then you know, and then I gotta take you know, let's see here. And then I gotta take unfortunately take Duke over Duke over Purdue because of experience. So in a matchup in a matchup of I'm I gotta go back here. In a mat in a matchup of Let's yeah, I'm still And the matchup of Duke and Villanova. I gotta take I gotta take Duke to win and Coach K will end his coaching career with a win. So Duke it Duke it is this this third time, so that's gonna be that's gonna be why I marked down for my third for my third projection team. I know this is kind of a complicated one. I had to answer the mailbox, but this is number two to finish out this tur finish out this tournament. I'm gonna have a better I'm gonna have a better method on how I'm gonna do these videos in the future. So I hope everybody has a great new year. Every day is closer to the March Madness, and we'll see you on my next video. Bye.